Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Garretini Jumps here, back with Pokemon Soul Silver. In the last episode, we took on the other half of the Elite Four and completed the Elite Four. Now we just have to take on the champion of the Pokemon League. So let's just head through this door here. And with that, as you see, we some, we see some Dratinis on the side. Well, it looks like we can't really do anything about that. But as we head up, who is this? It's Lance. I've been waiting for you, Carlos. I knew that you, with your skills, would eventually... I didn't even read that. There's no need for words now. We will battle and determine who is the stronger of us, of the two of us. As the most powerful trainer and the Pokemon League champion, I, Lance, the Dragon Master, accept your challenge. So with that, it is Carlos versus Lance with one of the best musics in any Pokemon battle. But as you see, Lance has been the champion this whole time and has never told us. Even though I already knew. Some of you guys who haven't played the game probably didn't know. But yes, he is the champion of the second and fourth gen games. So, with that, hopefully, we can get rid of his Gyarados. His Gyarados is level 46, its ability is Intimidate, and its moveset is Dragon Pulse, Flail, Waterfall, and Ice Fang. Hopefully, this Thunder will hit first try. Obviously, this Gyarados will be faster than us, but hopefully, this Thunder will hit first try, because if it doesn't, we are fucked. Yes! It hit. Oh my god. It hit. That, this, this Gyarados is definitely gone, you know. It's definitely not surviving this. I mean, it's four times effective, and it's 120 power, plus the same type of attack bonus. So, yeah, you're not living. Come on. <laughs> you know, you're not that defensive. You're special defensive. So, with that, Electro is level 46, and it wants to learn the move Mirror Shot. Let's see what this is. Um, wasn't expecting him to learn this, but... Um, Flash Energy and Polished Body may also lower the target's accuracy. Um... How much does Magna Bomb do? 60, but it never misses. 65, 85, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't even use Magna Bomb, so, you know, I, I don't even use st the Steel-type moves, like, seriously, I only, it, it, I just used <laughs> Magneton just because, or Magnezone just because he's Magnezone. But here, oh my god, I can't, I don't know if I can teach you Hydro Pump. Oh. Alright, let's get, com let, let's get rid of Confuse Ray, you know. I, I don't use Confuse Ray too much, and I don't think it's going to be that big of help now. So, with us learning two moves uh, from two different types of Pokemon, it's- Whoa! I've never, in my whole entire time of playing these games, seen him come out with Charizard second. Okay, he usually comes out with Charizard last, but Charizard is level 48, it's Fire Flying, its ability is Blaze, and it knows the moves Air Slash, Fire Fang, Shadow Claw, and Dragon Claw. So... I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna hydro pump it and hope that it hits. Um, this Pokemon, this Pokemon, it's it's very. No, oh, okay, yeah. Uh, let's just go for. Um, you know what? I'm gonna be strategic, like. Uh, which is higher attack or special attack? My attack. So I'm gonna go with waterfall, and hope that this this. Oh my God! Why would you bring back Charizard? Okay, I don't know which Dragonite this is. This is. It's level 49. He has two, he has three Dragonites, and this is, okay, so, it's either gonna be the Dragonite, it, it, it's either gonna be a Dragonite with, uh, that, no, its ability is, both of their abilities are inner focus, and one of the Dragonite's moveset is Thunder Wave, Hyper Beam, Thunder, and Dragon Rush, and then the other Dragonite's is Thunder Wave, Hyper Beam, Blizzard, and Dragon Rush, so, I'm gonna go out with an Ice Beam. Oh no! Oh my god! Oh my god, this is the one with the thunder. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please, please, please. Oh yes! Oh my god, I love you, Icebreaker. Oh my god. Hopefully this ice beam gets rid of it. Oh my god, please. Ah, this Dragonite better be dead. Yes, and he's gone. Oh my god. That was, that was a really close call. Oh my god. Even if he's bringing out, okay, he's bringing out Aerodactyl. I'm gonna bring out... I'm actually gonna bring out Quicksand just to use him as a stall in Pokemon. Um, his Aerodactyl is level 48. Its ability is Pressure and knows the move Thunderfang, Rock Slide, Aerial Ice, and Crunch. So yes, um, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna. I really only brought out Quicksand so I could heal up Icebreaker because Icebreaker is our star Pokemon in this Elite Four. So pretty sure this Aerodactyl won't kill us with Aerial Ice. But whoa, that did a lot of damage. Alright, um, you're flying type, so uh, I'll just slash you, even though, okay, you killed us, whatever, so I'm, j I'm just gonna bring out, um, I'm gonna bring out Electro and hope that 
this Aerodactyl can go down. Uh, oh my god, I could seriously just use, um, what's his name, Icebreaker for this whole entire match, but as you saw that, I I've never seen him come out, like, in this way with all his Pokemon, so it's really weird just, like, seeing him come out with different Pokemon this time. Um, so, yeah, it's just really weird, because I've never seen him come out with Charizard second, so, uh, he usually comes out with his strongest Dragonite, uh, second, but, you know, we'll just use Discharge here and hopefully get rid of this Aerodactyl. 1 HP once again. What? Why does this always happen to me? Why? <laughs> just 1 HP, what, like, 1 HP, what, like, how is that possible? Just one HP, and you can't just die. I, I want you to die, Aerodactyl. Thank you. Oh, and now we get a crit. Why can Why couldn't that be the first? You know what? At least he used up one of his uh, four restores, so I don't really care. But let's see who he's coming out with next. He's coming out with Charizard again. So once again, I'm gonna come out with Icebreaker and try to waterfall him. Hopefully, we do a lot of damage. Oh my God. Let's see. Waterfall. Okay, you're going for another Air Slash. That's definitely not going to get rid of us, though. So, we're just going to Waterfall. And hope that this gets rid of Charizard. Oh, oh my god. That was really, really close. La last time, that was just really close. Oh my god. He did it again. He with... Okay, I don't know what's Drag... What, this level. Okay, so this is his other 49 Dragonite with uh, that I said knows Blizzard instead of Thunder. So, I'm gonna just Ice Beam this, um, this Dragonite, and it Thunder Waved me, oh my god. I am hoping to god that this, this Paralysis does not fuck me over, and please- YES! Thank you, Ice Beam, you, you have never been more helpful in my life. Oh my god. This battle has been going on for a while, but I hate, I hate how he keeps with, uh, how he keeps taking back Charizard, it's bothering me. But, um, who is he gonna bring out next? He's bringing out his last Dragonite. I'm gonna use Chuck as a distraction here. But his last Dragonite, you know, its ability is Inner Focus. It's, it's level 50, its held item is a Citrus Berry, and knows the new Safeguard, Outrage, Hyper Beam, and Fire Blast. So, it's a real, like, real, 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 real threat. And once again, I don't know how he has three Dragonites under level 55. It's just, he, he defines everything. Lance is just... Lance. Nobody can beat Lance. Lance is amazing. That's why. He's amazing. So, we can't put any status afflictions on him. You know what? I'm just gonna go for a close combat since I'm already here. Hopefully just lower down his HP. I knew it wasn't gonna do too much, but I mean, Chuck is gonna die anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But, let's check out what's gonna happen here. He uses Outrage. Okay, so yeah. We're gonna have to watch out with that Outrage when Icebreaker is out, just because I don't want him to die. But this outrage is definitely getting rid of us. So, bye bye, Chuck. You have been a great help this Pokemon League and this whole entire LP. But we're going to come out with Icebreaker and check out what Icebreaker can do with Ice Beam. Hopefully, this Ice Beam gets rid of him first try and he go he gets to go first. Hopefully, this outrage does not kill us. Um, I'm really hoping it doesn't. Uh, okay, yes. <laughs> like I said, Icebreaker is really good Pokemon. If you guys did not pick up Lapras when I told you to, I'm sure you guys will definitely regret this, but Dragonite is gone. Oh my god. I, I highly recommend that you have an Ice type for the Elite Four in Pokemon League, just because Ice Beam or Blizzard will do four times damage to these Dragonites, and it would make it extremely easy. So, he's finally, finally coming out with his freaking Charizard once again, and we're just going to end it off here with a waterfall. I meant to use waterfall. Didn't mean to use surf, but okay. Um, that does- OH MY GOD! If you kill- Lapras, if you kill this Charizard with 1 HP, and you level up to level 50, oh my god! Th this is the best match ever! Oh my god. Icebreaker, I love you. Oh my god. This was- This is probably one of the best matches I've ever had, ever. <laughs> Most this, this is so good. This is so cool. He leveled up to level 50. Beat, beat Charizard with 1 HP. Oh my god. You have become truly powerful, Carlos. Your Pokemon have responded to your strong and upstanding nature. As a trainer, you will continue to grow strong with your Pokemon. And the door opens behind him. And what is this? 
Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh no, it's all over, Professor Oak. If you weren't so slow. And Professor Oak's just all bossy, he's like, oh, fuck this shit. Oh, Carlos, it's been a long while. You certainly look more impressive. Your your conquest to the league is it's just fantastic. Your dedication, trust, and love for your Pokemon must this happen. Your Pokemon were outstanding too. Because they believed as believed in you as a trainer, they preserved. Congratulations, Carlos. Let's interview the brand new champion. <laughs> and Lance is just like, this is getting to be a bit too noisy. Carlos, could you come with me? And we just leave. <laughs> Oh, come on, Mary. You, you can chill out. Oh, wait. We haven't done the interview. You, you can wait till after, you know. I'm just a new champion of Johto. So, you know, it's normal. You know, I, I can wait for interviews. It's been a long time since I since I last came here. This is where I commemorate the league champion for all entirety. In eternity. Why did I say entirety? Their courage. The courageous Pokemon are also included. Here today, we witness the rise of a new Pokemon, or of a new league champion. A trainer who feels compassionate for a tr and trust towards all Pokemon. A trainer who succeeded through persevered that word, and determination. The, the new league champion who has all the makings of greatness. Carlos, allow me to register you as your, and, and your partners as champions. As you see, I'm a horrible reader, and that definitely just got rid of the mood in this game, but who cares? So he heals up our Pokemon, and this amazing stuff here. Hall of Fame, Electro, Magnezone, level 46, and I met you at Route 38. Oh my god, I remember when you were just a little tiny Magnemite. Good times. Ah, oh, Hall of Fame, Ace, Fero, level 46. I met you at Route 33. I remember when you were just a little... Spearow, man. Oh, oh my god, my starter Pokemon, Razor, Magnate, um, Meganium, obtained a new Bark Town. Oh my god. You were just a little Chikorita back then. The Hall of Fame. Chuck, Heracross, level 45, obtained, and we met at Azeli Town when I headbutted that tree. I remember when you were just a little Heracross and not a big Heracross, you know. The Hall of Fame, Icebreaker, Lapras, level 50, met at Union Cave. You have been the greatest Pokemon ever. I, I love you. Lapras, I'm sorry. <laughs> so all my other Pokemon, but here we have Quicksand, Doug Trio. Um, met at Route 48, and you were just a little diglet back then. So, with that, we have our amazing team. Hopefully, you guys like the team that I picked this game. And hopefully, you guys love what I did with this LP. I definitely do love this LP. I mean, there we are in the Hall of Fame. So, with that, it's saving our game for like the first time in forever. No, I lied. I, I was saving in between every um every episode so with that our game has saved and now the epic music will go away and we'll have some calming cool music so if you guys think this is the end of the LP it's definitely not we still have a lot more to go I mean we if you haven't noticed um, there is a second part to this game and we're only halfway through it, so there is a second part to this game, which is in Kanto, obviously, since we stepped in Kanto in episode 22. Or, was it episode 22? Yeah, episode 22. We stepped in Kanto, obviously, that kind of proved that we were going to Kanto, so... As you see, we are definitely going- Fuck you, Noah! Just push me on the top screen, what are you doing? <laughs> okay, well, as you see, obviously, we are going to go... To Kanto. And become the league and become the league champion of Kanto 2. So with that, after if you guys remember when I put Sunshine on a hiatus, I said either halfway through or after Soul Silver I will continue. I will continue Sunshine. And now since it's you know halfway through, exactly halfway through the game, I'm definitely going to start up Sunshine once again. Hopefully you guys are excited for that. I mean, I'll be having it side to side with. Soul Silver. I probably upload um, Soul Silver Monday, Sunshine Tuesday, Soul Silver Wednesday, Sunshine Thursday, and then the Super Mario 64 Versus on Friday. And then the weekends are just to record and chill. So hopefully you guys like this. Um, as you see, tomorrow the 64 Versus episode three will be out. I haven't even recorded that yet. And um, well, I'm still recording this on like. Well, the, the day this is out tomorrow, it would be, you know, the day where the uh, verses will be out. But, you know, I'm getting into a lot of stuff. Hopefully you guys hope or are happy that Sunshine is coming back. 
and that I'm still gonna uh, continue this game and defeat the ending part of this game. So, hope you guys enjoyed the first half of this LP. I'll see you guys next time when we're in Johto. Er, <laughs> whoa, that was a fail. I'll see you guys next time when, when I'm in Kanto.